Hi guys, in this video we are going to talk about how evolution and speciation, even though they are very related, what makes them different from each other and how you should describe those processes differently. Okay, so we've got a hypothetical scenario here. We've got an initial population A, let's think of them as some birds, uh, a habitat. Okay, and when thinking about evolution, evolution is how one population of organism gradually changes over time. Why does that happen? So we're going to ignore everything else. Evolution is about how one population changes over time and the reasons for that gradual change. So, we've got a population A and they live in a particular habitat. Now, that population is going to have variation. There's going to be genetic genetic variation. Now, that population, there, there's variation in that population and also there is this struggle to survive caused by selection pressures. So there must be a selection pressure which means some of those organisms have a better chance of surviving than others. So genetic variation plus selection pressure basically gives you some organisms having a better chance of surviving and reproducing. The organisms that survived and reproduced, pass on their alleles to the next generation, okay? So, alleles for, alleles for adaptations, alleles for adaptations, their frequency increases, okay? population genetically population genetically different okay so that explains how population might undergo genetic change even over a few generations that is the process of evolution it takes us from species a to species A star, okay, or, you know, A minus, whatever, whatever you want to call it, that's just us modifying, or that's just the species being modified slightly over time. Yes, if that, this process could carry on over a great deal of time, and it would lead to bigger genetic changes, and that might be a speciation event. But evolution is, you can think of as the process. Speciation is kind of the product of, of that process occurring over a long period of time. So species A changes slightly over time to better survive the selection pressures that this population faces. So we go from A to A star or A to A minus. Okay, evolution can occur over a short period of time, leading to slight change, genetic change in that population. Okay, and these are the key points. How is speciation different and how should you word it? Okay, so the key thing about speciation is now we kind of look a bit more outwards and we look at the bigger picture. So we have an original population A that is that becomes split or isolated. So you have some members of that population isolated from one another. They might still be the same species. Okay? In fact, they are the same species, but for some, re for some reason they've become isolated from one another. This could be a physical separation, such as a geographical barrier. So some of the... Uh, some of the members of the species uh, end up 
living on this side of the habitat, the other members of the species end up living on the other side, or it could be simply they're even living in the same place, same habitat, exactly the same area, but because of some physical difference, they don't recognize, they might not even recognize each other as the same species and therefore they don't reproduce with each other. The bottom line being, for whatever reason, this group of organisms, while being the same species as this group of organisms, do not reproduce. Okay, so that could be a sim uh, simply a reproductive barrier, where for whatever reason they don't recognize each other's each other as the same species and therefore don't uh, breed with them, or uh, the breeding times are slightly different, or it could be an actual physical separation such as a geographical barrier. Okay, both populations are going to acquire. they're both going to acquire mutations or uh, changes in allele frequency. These things are going to happen over time um, okay, to both populations. But the key point being, because they're not reproducing with each other, there is, there is no gene flow. There's no gene flow between populations. And this is what people often forget to say. There's no gene flow between the two populations. Okay, so they, they're, they're changing, so this population is acquiring genetic changes, this population is acquiring genetic changes, but those changes are not passing to the other population. So they're not changing together, okay, they are becoming more different over time. Okay? Now, what can increase what can increase this is is the geographical barrier. So if there's a geographical barrier involved, what can happen is that because the geographical locations are different, the selection pressures are going to be different. And if the selection pressures are different, then this adds this adds this drives more genetic difference because because this population's uh, adapting to different conditions, so they're acquiring different genetic changes. To this population, which are trying to adapt to different conditions, so, so the genetic changes that they're accumulating via this process is different. All right, so I'm just gonna add this point. Geographical barrier, a geographical barrier means different selection pressures. This is a key point, despite the small amount of space I've given it. Geographical barriers impose different selection pressures and this causes the two populations to acquire different genetic changes in order to adapt. Okay, but this idea of no gene flow between the two populations, that, that is there whether there is geographical isolation or reproductive isolation. Okay? So because there's no gene flow between the populations, these populations become more genetically more genetically incompatible over time. All right? So basically in in the individual populations this process is happening. Okay? And because they've become more in, incompatible over time, speciation means, okay, eventually they reach a point where eventually, eventually the two populations cannot successfully interbreed. Right? So by this point, they've become so, at some point then, you know, the populations have become so different from each other that were you to put them in the same place again um, and allow them to reproduce, they genetically cannot produce fertile offspring. That's all this means. OK? 
Okay? So this essentially is the difference between speciation and evolution. Evolution can be thought of as how one population undergoes change, genetic change over time. Okay? And that doesn't mean necessarily that it, it's changed, it's caused the change from one species into another. Whereas speciation is evolution occurring in two populations that might have originated uh, or that might have a common ancestor, evolution occurring separately in those two populations until the point where they are so genetically different that they are no longer the same species. It's an important distinction and I hope you can see how uh, your answers to any exam questions relating to this will have to be significantly different. So, what to look for in your exam, you're looking for whether the, whether the question is asking for how is this population changing, in, in which case it's evolution. If it's asking you how two populations arose from one, that's speciation. Okay? Good luck. <laughs>